hello, hello. Welcome back for another week of the B-Side Word. I'm Emma and I'm sat here with Dev. Hello. CJ. Hello. Maxi. Hello. And Alexander. Yo, yo. And we're a group of friends from around the world and we discuss second page news. Now, this week, I think we will do mine. Um, So this is about, and this actually, okay, this isn't really like second page news because I think most people have actually heard about it, but it's just so interesting. Um, So it's about the Jussie Smollett crime, the fake hate crime. Um, Firstly, has everyone heard about it? Yes. 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 Maxi? (laughs) Maxi, have you heard about it? Um, I, I've heard about it, but I haven't read it or anything. I don't know okay. much so about it. So for the listeners, just as a sort of recap type thing, Jesse Smollett is one of the main characters on the TV series Empire. Still? No. Yes, still. I think he got fired. Didn't he get fired? He hasn't. He's apparently coming back to season six. There was word that they dropped him, but a couple of days ago, there's been an update saying he's come back. But basically, um, okay, so let's start from the beginning, okay? Pretending like we don't know the end. So, Jesse, yeah. <laughs> J- Jesse, the whole world knows the end, <laughs> had someone call the police, and police turn up at his house and they find him in stained clothing with a like loose noose around his neck. And he told them that he was on his way from walking home after a bar or something like that, 2 a.m. in the morning. There was two people across the road and they started like um, saying like racial and homophobic slurs at him and then basically came over and started beating him up, put a noose around his neck and poured chemicals or um, bleach or something over him. And... um, also said that the week before he had received a hate letter, um, again, racially and homophobically sort of, um, what's the word? Targeted. Targeted letter. So they obviously, Chicago Police Department took this extremely seriously. I'm boring Dev over here. They took, okay, to cut a long story short, this whole thing was fake. (laughs) 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 okay so chicago police started looking into it (laughs) right but uh, some of our listeners might not have okay so basically he was caught faking this entire story and the reason that he was faking it was because he wasn't happy with his salary on empire you know you know that that's not actually been determined whether he's faking it or not yeah i i'm saying this i have an opinion but it's not actually been determined do you know what do you know the end of the story yet no, tell What's us. What happened? Tell what us. You, Didn't which so, end? So it was these Nigerian brothers who, was, yeah. who supposedly did the act on him. Um, but when he was in jail, they've released him because there's no, not enough evidence. But they've released him with his, ten, I think it was a 10,000 bond that they're going to keep instead. And um, he now has to do community service work for the community and stuff. But the idea is that he's innocent. Like that's why he's been released. So, but then why are the Chicago Police Department on like doing live interviews saying this is what's happened and the reason he did it was because of this? Wait, 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 wait. Because this happened before. Wait, wait. The guy that got released is Nigerian. No, the two brothers that. So, the two brothers who committed the crime, supposedly, are Nigerian brothers. And also, they they know Jesse. It's believed that he's hired them to do it. But what's come out since is there's no, basically, there's no way for them to prove anything. Um, but they still believe he's done it. So they've released him, but he's got a punishment in essence. How how no, can somebody someone you think's innocent but then still give him a minor punishment? Yeah, no. Uh, they... Well that's what one of the big controversies in Chicago, because now you've got the the mayor of Chicago who's complaining about this whole thing, saying this is privileged treatment because he's got money, yada yada yada. And then you've got the backlash on that where people are saying I mean, let's be serious, people have got away with way worse in Chicago. Um it, the only reason you're upset is because he's a black. So, like, the, it started this whole big argument. But what the funniest thing to me is since he's been released, it's now come out through his lawyer that he thought that the guys were white. They may have been in white face. Yeah. It, it, but it, what's funny is they wear, they're wearing 
in his initial report, yeah. they were wearing balaclavas, so you wouldn't have seen the white face anyway. And then, but there's a video that surfaced of the Nigerian brothers buying the, the look, ski masks. No. no, no, no. This is no. This is video of them in in white face. But it it's not white face. It's like the Joker, and it and it's almost it looks like a comedy skit. Um, but it's so like painstakingly obvious paint on a face. It's a, it's on Trevor Noah. Never mistake it. I'm so confused so, at this whole timeline. So, because there's video of the brothers um, buying the ski masks and all the stuff that they were sort of like supposedly wearing. And then yes. um, he didn't he admit that or they found out that he had sent that letter to himself. It was actually him that sent it to himself. I don't know about the letter. And but then... What, what I, I, the fact that you're confused is, is good because it is confusing. <laughs> like, I don't want you to think that you're lost. Oh, okay. The story is confusing. Because I've watched but interviews they're... with the actual police the chief or whoever literally saying this is what happened and this is why he's done it like he gave a reason this is why he's done it because yeah. he was unhappy with his pay so why would they just yeah they can't be that's, false uh, n- lies that's what i'm saying it was it was it's a case of they they had they investigated this thing they came up with a conclusion but i think i think it's purely down to the evidence standpoint that there's there's nothing they can indict him on um so He's been released, but in being released, he's had to. They the money they were withholding, he's not getting back, and he's has to do community service within Chicago. But it's not. It's it's a voluntary community service that he's doing. That they're forcing him to <laughs> not do. a mandated <laughs> community this service. Is so weird. This is the most bizarre. Wait, it is so so bizarre. The most bizarre so, thing. wait, the Nigerian brothers are the ones that beat him up. Yes. Yeah, but he paid them three and a half grand to do it, and he knows them. They used to work on the Empire yeah. set at some yeah. point. And <laughs> wait, wait, there's wait. a video of him in white face. <laughs> wait, wait, because wait, Trevor wait. Noah had it on, on his show, <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing when I saw oh, the white wait. face. This, this, this I was like, this thing. is terrible. You can still see he's black. <laughs> but, but, but this whole thing like, is, is ridiculous. A little bit of white paint here, and a little bit of white paint here. You can still see like the rest of his skin. You know? <laughs> like I, it. I don't, I don't understand how you hire someone that you know. Like it, this is, this is very. It was a stupid plan. It's like a TV show. It's like he's like playing the lead character in his own like right. Like, <laughs> like, like let's do if this. If this was a TV show, I'd be like world's dumbest criminal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, he wanted. He wanted. He wanted his notoriety essentially, so that he could make more money. Yeah. So he organized this hate crime so that he would get notoriety but in organizing it he's just done a terrible job yeah and yeah. easily got found out it feels but like a dc story movie just keeps... like, to be perfectly honest with you i think he should have maybe hired a white guy to do it yeah but it was then two the, the white black dudes the white face <laughs> thing i just find hilarious because I didn't know yeah. came white face. after he was it just... came out after he was released and it was yeah, like, there was no to find reason picture. to say it <laughs> But now it just makes more questions. Like, wait, what? <laughs> like, you, you gotta find a picture of the white face. Because to be perfectly <laughs> the, honest with the, you, the, you could still see the guys. Nigerians go to jail. Do the two Nigerians go to jail? I don't think so. I don't. I don't actually know. I don't think so. How can you go to but jail? Is it illegal to beat someone up if they hire you to do it? No, that, but like if the guy's the telling you to beat Surely them up. Surely not, because that's a contract you entered into. They were willingly. They willingly wanted it. Yeah, but it. I mean, civil civil contracts never outweigh criminal like. But that's Criminal like um, SM, SMB. What's that? A BS, BS, <laughs> SMB. No, what do you call it? The BDSM. 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 Whatever. Is it? I mean, was... All right. Go into WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm hey. posting you a picture of hey. the Only from face. Rihanna's song. <laughs> Isn't it SM, SM something? Got, I've posted in WhatsApp a picture of the white face so yeah. you can see. I was like saying it's the worst white face ever. <laughs> like it's, I, th- I genuinely, I think it's because I've seen like the video. I haven't seen it with sound. I saw it like snipped into someone else's video. Sure. I like, think it was from a comedy skit. Like, like Trevor Noah was saying, yeah, made that little bit of white made him look so white, didn't it? <laughs> Very me. But I, I thought he was wearing a balaclava. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, but that's they're saying because he had what, you, the white why face why you, why and the balaclava, face wear balaclava, he looked white. <laughs> But that's that's what I was saying. It's such a strange. It was a strange thing for him to come out and say. Like it was. It wasn't in the, the original report. The whole thing report. was so hey, strange. But you, you can't know tell what? he's Nigerian, can you? But the thing is, <laughs> and this is the thing. Like if you thought they were white, because that's essentially what the lawyers come out and said is Jesse. Jesse Maybe. thought that oh they might have been white or they might have been a white face. 
if that was the case, when they initially <laughs> came out and said, oh, we've identified the people who attacked you as Nigerian brothers and showed them, you'd have gone, no, because they were white. Like, <laughs> yeah, how did this come weird. up after uh, everything? Yeah, and but, the whole thing, you know, right? Thought, no, they were, they were mainly black when they had a white face. <laughs> <laughs> so not, maybe they were mixed. I don't know. Yeah, oh, no. they're Nigerian. That explains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, part of the face was white, part of the face was black, though, Dina. <laughs> but not you know sure. what? How the... come he didn't mention the lips, though? Look how big the lips oh. are everywhere. Uh, no. Look how big the no, lips they had, are. They had a ski mask. Oh, I still no, don't. but he had like red, <laughs> <laughs> red lipstick, which goes to the yeah. cheeks. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. On the ski mask, there's still like he a could mouth. have said he should have said I got beat up by the black Joker, and he probably would have got, <laughs> made more sense. So Do, weird. But to be honest, I don't know. I don't know. The Actually. ratings for the show went mm-hmm. down a lot after this happened. And also he was, he showed up to some concerts that he had or some like um, shows that he had. Um, and he One was like, minute warning. he was on, sh- on stage, you know, like I, I won't let anyone, of course I'm going to be here even though this happened to me, blah, blah, blah. Everyone was like speaking up for him. It's Why do you think the ratings dropped on the show? I find that a bit strange. After they found out that it was faked. I think the ratings dropped on the show because yeah, the show's not as good as it used to be. I mean, like, I don't know why that affects the show. Like, it's the show didn't do it. No, but he's one of the main characters and people like to boycott things. When... Uh, I, I I feel bad for the people that st- stood up for him. Oh, yeah. When it I happened. Feel, like, and yeah. they, the the people that were really, uh, what do you call it? Loud Passionate. and, pa- yeah, yeah, they were. You, like, his castmates. I don't, I you don't? initially agreed with you, but I don't feel bad for them because, wait. Stop trying to have opinions on immediate headlines. Yeah, 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 yeah. I but think even that's the just White House had opinions. Like, I think everyone had opinions, and that's what the Chicago police were saying because they got a lot of backlash for this. And they said, actually, we didn't treat this any different to how we would treat any other hate crime. We always go into any hate crime with as much vigor. veracity. F- yeah, vigor. I think I made up the word. Um, <laughs> veracity. But what's the word? As we would <laughs> veracity. I don't know. Can that's anyone source veracity. that? Is that a, is that that a word? Be- Oh, there you go. Velocity. We went into Velocity. this as, as, as much as we would any other, and it's you guys, the media, and everyone else that has blown this up. Yeah. Which yeah. is true. But how many times has that happened now where a story comes out and it's been sensationalized and everyone like picks a side and then you find out that's not actually how the story went? Yeah. It's just... I th- uh, Alexander, uh, can I ask you, like when you first heard about this, um, this actor getting beat up, what was your first reaction? Yeah. I didn't care. Right. How about when you found out that he lied about it? There was a, there could be a question about him lying about it. What did you think then? What? Why? What? Just why? There was more care, right? There was more. It was like, no, nah, what? I, I care. I care when I when I first heard it. I was like, that poor dude. He got beat up because he's black and gay. Man, that's just bad. I know. That's terrible. Yeah, that's true. And the thing is, he just oh god. Could you imagine being him and just the. Im- uh embarrassment and just oh my god i don't know but is it is it embarrassing like i feel like to do that to go to that extent being aware of what fame does because he like he's famous so he knows what media attention is like he knows how things work in that perspective he's surely just got to be a little bit loose in the head to do Uh, that and think think that he's going to get away with it i don't know again if i was going to do it I'd, i'd actually hire like the right race (laughs) <laughs> to beat me up. I just, it's so <laughs> the right whole that's story a, that's is the thing. Like, he does such a bad job of it. Like, <laughs> okay, if I okay, these two black guys beat me up, right? I'll make sure they're black. <laughs> right? I don't know. That's, that's, a good, cool. that's a good start. That'll be part of like, like the, part of the job interview. Excuse me. I'm going trying to get these two guys to beat me up, right? I need them to be black. Yeah. yeah you guys fit. <laughs> oh man. Uh, anyway. Well, maybe. Uh, oh no. Yeah. Yeah. What? Lovely. Final words <laughs> on Jesse. What if this whole thing is like he'd been threatened and been told to lie and say he faked it when actually he didn't? But he's That's another level of the story yeah. which on. will draw the Hold population. I, I my tin hat's in London, sorry. I can't I can't put it on. What do you mean? What? Tin hat? Yeah, I know, like the crazies. It's a conspiracy. Escargo. Um, did you guys hear, talking about France, did you guys hear about the Louvre, how it's doing this? Uh, B&B, the Airbnb. Airbnb. And one lucky couple 
are going to win the chance to stay in a under miniature, the loo. In, in a miniature. Um, under the pyramid. Yeah, but there's a miniature pyramid where you're camping. Yeah. And then they get taken on a private tour. Um, they get to go to all the gallery, like their favorite rooms in the galleries, stay there for as long as they want, have dinner in some special room at the end of some special artistic painting. I'm like, oh my God, so many people. I don't know how they're going to choose or what's the sort of, who can apply? Is it anyone or is it just like? I think so. Anyway, it's Airbnb. I think you have to like actually go on Airbnb to get. Yeah, but how do you? So it's just a lottery? Yeah. Ah. I'm guessing. Like, what, what do you mean? Like, the person that spends the most on Airbnb gets a. That's no, that means the richest person has gets it. So, is it Airbnb choosing or is it the Louvre? Airbnb, because it's mm. their ten year anniversary. I think. How Airbnb? incredible would that be? Airbnb's not been around for ten years. Airbnb. I don't know. Surely let's, not. Let's let's have a look. I but the know. Louvre's been around more than ten years. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know about Airbnb, but, I thought, but the only thing is that hotel room is yeah, like completely wide open. Airbnb. It is 2008, yeah. Oh. yeah. Airbnb. There you go. I know my facts. Hmm. <laughs> 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 so confident, Deb. That's why I uh, prosecuted. <laughs> but we know that's his, uh, his thing. Just act confident. <laughs> Okay, so this article is yours, Dev, about the South African water. So this article is pretty, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. I only, um, explanatory? No, it explains well, easily. Um, the <laughs> reason why, the reason why <laughs> I liked, I liked this article is because this South African water is labeled not made in China. Okay. Is the label made in South Africa? The water is like <laughs> all like locally based and stuff. And the the reason why um, the explanation they gave was because made in China has a stigma of cheap, cheap builds. And uh-huh. right. So not made in China is like, this is a superior product, right? That's okay. Wow. Yeah, well, I don't think that's the explanation they gave for doing it, but that's what is implied. That's what, yeah, sorry, that's what's implied, yeah. They said that they, so it says um, still water, and then it says right underneath, it's not made in China. And they said that um, actually, so basically, once the Chinese saw this, there was a lot of backlash about it. And yeah. they've apologized and said, actually, we didn't mean to offend anyone. We just wanted to. Um, stand out from the crowd because everything else says made in China. So we wanted to be like, it's not made in China. Um, There's a couple other companies that do the same thing as well. It's actually, it's actually very, very smart. Like uh, marketing wise, it does make you stand out. And it like, it's got the publicity that, um, that they wanted. It's just that the market they try to target has the most people in it and they can give you a lot of (laughs) negative publicity yeah, i was thinking like the biggest population in the world is not the one you want to actually annoy no yeah and no. actually the company <laughs> name that does this water it's is the actual company name is it's not made in china that's, yeah. the, that's company the company name, name. That's yeah the company name yeah what water it's not so what what's so the whole company it, name is it water it's not made in china or no, just it's not made in china it's just it's not made in china so www dot it's not made in china i and then it's dot. <laughs> it, um, this this started trending on um, Chinese social media called uh, Weibo. It got um, reposted or got viewed like over two hundred and fifty thousand times. So it's the thing is with Chinese uh, the Chinese is that they're very proud of who they are and their country. Um, yeah. They've. Uh, national, I don't know. Like I don't know what the patriotic. Nationalist they're very or patri- patriotic. Yeah. Yeah, they're patriotic about their country, and when you when someone says something bad, uh, some something bad about something you're proud of, you're gonna have massive backlash, right? Um, yeah. so it was probably the wrong target, the wrong people to target. I don't think they were targeting them; they just happened to see it. They said, "Hey, I, I, like I know, I know they're saying like." We don't mean we didn't mean anything by it, 
But hey, no, because so basically they were originally thinking of calling themselves Made in South Africa. In this place in, in South Africa, yeah. which has some reference to Nelson Mandela. Um, I think they was going to call Madiba, so they were going to call it Made in Madiba Land. Um, but they ended up with it's not made in China. But now they're sort of feeling pressure to sort of change it back to that. Yeah. Um, because I don't think they did mean to cause offence, and I think it was sort of their sort of point of difference. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I mean, <laughs> I was looking. You know, it's easier to say what isn't made in China than what is made in China because it's pretty much everything. I didn't realize pretty much. All of the food that we eat, or most of it, is either made or manufactured somehow or grown in China. Yeah. Spices, is, ginger, is, garlic. But you know what I thought was interesting? So I thought, okay, seeing as the rest of the world buys everything that's made in China, what is China buying? Oh, that's smart. Yeah. China. They buy a so, lot of salmon from Norway, I heard. <laughs> Do they? There you go. Yeah. They love Norwegian salmon. So 55% of China's imports are from fellow Asian countries. 17.7% yeah. um, are from European countries. 9.3% from North America. 67 from Latin America, excluding Mexico. I'm not sure why, but including Caribbean. And then 5% from Australia. I thought it would be more than that. Um, and 4.6 from Africa. It's just raw materials from Australia, isn't it? Like all... Mm, possibly they lay like that. But there's like 10 people in Australia. Yeah. What, what do they produce? <laughs> 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 they like our formula, baby formula. They do like our baby <laughs> formula. Um, <laughs> Let's not go into so it. So the, the number one most imported um, item, product, into China is electrical machinery and equipment. Makes sense. Yeah. So that that equates to twenty four point four percent of their total imports. Twenty four point four percent. Yeah, it doesn't say exactly where from though, but that's about five hundred five hundred and twenty one point five billion. Who US dollars. else? Okay, this so was in two thousand and eighteen alone. Made in China, right? Made in China. Who else is making stuff? Um, Taiwan. I see a lot of those. Made in yeah, Taiwan. 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 We've got India. Bangladesh. India. Yeah. I only see I only see a few things like um from Vietnam and the Philippines. But I don't see a lot of stuff. I don't see many from the Philippines. Does you know the car manufacturers, Volkswagen, is that still made in like Germany? Are like the European cars I still see. made I believe so, but I think they still get some parts from China. The engines okay. tend to be like made in um like uh, the German manufacturers are better at it, but like the English ones, we don't make much in England anymore. Like it could be um, something as small as like the nuts or the bolts or something like that. They could yeah, like the rubber them. components, all those things will probably have some link to China. Okay, in the manufacturing, I which think. which is which is, is it scary? Is it scary that um, China are going to be because like um, they have this uh, hashtag, made in China two thousand and twenty five. Where they yeah. want to be the most dominant manufacturing sector in the world. Yeah. But I feel I mean, like I think they probably will be. Yeah. 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 Aren't they ready? Wait, wait, the most dominant know. manufacturing sector. No, I think they wanting uh, something to do with that. They wanted to increase. It was in certain things like AI. Um, what does okay. it say? I'm not sure. Yeah. I think they want to be like already, one of the In terms of manufacturing products, they, they already are the biggest, I think, in that sense. But the oh. what they're not as good at is like services and... Um, sort oh. of more like uh, so like you see like they're not very good at marking things up so Apple for instance will make all their products in China but they will sell them through Apple so they're like the, do you know what I mean they right, have right, the service right. and the branding and everything around it China aren't as good as that uh, so their customer service and all that sort of stuff doesn't often hold up as well as so the that's like, like, like ho, ho, what's, who, what's their mobile service Hawaii who oh, Huawei no that's Huawei? Korea isn't it is it I don't know Huawei you sure? I don't know what? who Huawei is. I thought it was Korea. Could not be though. Isn't it? Um, Might not be. Hensia or whatever. No. Oh. Huawei. H U A W E. Yes, yeah, Chinese. Oh, it's it Chinese. is. It's Chinese. Because like when Maxi said that, it triggered like, are they trying to dominate the um, manufacturing sector? And because of the markup is not there, having that retail 
they will be able to dominate. They'll so be able it to says s- the China 2025 is a tagline for its 10-year industrial development plan. It's going to look at targeting emerging industries like robotics, the manufacturing of autonomous and electric cars, artificial intelligence, biotech, and aviation. So mm. that's its plan. <laughs> Let's just say all of them. <laughs> <laughs> dominate yeah. all of them. Here's something. I think I, I, maybe I don't know if this is on the same thought train you or thought trail, thought train or thought trail. Trail. Thought trail. Train trail. Depends if you're walking or public transport. <laughs> <laughs> it just depends. Fair point. So I'm a, I'm all public transport. So my thought train took me towards <laughs> something I've done recently, which is we've got these new electric scooters in Oslo where you can just use your phone and you can take electric scooter and you can ride around. Yeah. But they Sweet. brought in two different companies. One's called voy and one's called tia and voy arrived first but they cost like they cost say two pounds to unlock and then it's 50p a minute they come first so i downloaded their app and i started using them but the other company only cost one pound to unlock instead of two pounds and they also cost 50p a minute so it was cheaper to use the other company and i kind of knew that but for convenience because i knew this company already and i've only used them three times by this point i was still using this more expensive one because i couldn't be bothered to go over to this one there never, you go. and i was like yeah. this is so like i've done it another two times and i was like this is now i've now wasted like a equivalent to about a pound on each journey like yeah. i'm now going to start using this these other companies uh, because uh, yeah yeah like for some reason you just do something you're used to you carry on doing it even though you yeah. know it's yeah. like it's the same as like your electricity providers or your internet there's so many people i walk down the street they're like hey what uh electricity provider do you have i'm like i don't care if it's more expensive i cannot be bothered to talk to you today <laughs> oh see i'm a bit different i am the queen of searching around and finding the best deal yeah i am not loyal to any electricity oh, provider I, I think it's brands more, i think it's I'm more people will feel comfortable doesn't your husband work for electricity provider we don't go with his retailer <laughs> That was expensive. Ooh. No, it used to be until your wife searched around. <laughs> but like, Good, I'm just great not loyal. Great value, I heard yours, where you work, Dev. I thought they're one of the best companies in the market. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're not correct. Re- <laughs> we're not <laughs> <laughs> that would be correct if we were a retailer, but we, we, uh, we, oh. don't, we don't sell le- electricity anymore. Oh. You know how people get the oh. same toothpaste or they get the same... Um, it's what, habit. Whatever. It's habit, and um, com- and then people are comfortable with yeah. that because yeah. it hasn't. It, nothing's gone wrong. So, like you know that the old adage of "don't if it's not yeah. broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it, don't fix it." Whereas, but how how many places are better than McDonald's for the same price as McDonald's that you go past, and then you still end up just sat in a McDonald's if well, so many people. times, so many times because it's consistently shit. <laughs> 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 you know what you're getting you know what i mean it's shit <laughs> it's, you, you're not disappointed when it's shit you go eh, i knew what i was walking into <laughs> do you prefer burger king or mcdonald's what are we talking about? i prefer burger king i'm a burger king i'm Which a burger hungry, king hungry jack the burgers are better at hungry jacks yeah <laughs> the chips are better burgers better i prefer kfc but if- Ooh. Do you guys have a Max Max Burger? Have you heard of that? I don't no. know where that exists. They're in Scandinavia anyway, and that's very good. But there you go. End of that situation. <laughs> <laughs> Max Burger, look out for it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we get a sponsor for them. Okay, this next article is my article, actually. It is about a Russian man that stole an orangutan orangutan and tried to get it on a flight to take it back to Russia. Stole an orangutan? Yes. A baby one? What a lad. (laughs) He stole an orangutan. So a 27-year-old Russian man was caught with a two-year-old orangutan in his suitcase. He... This is sad. So he actually drugged the poor baby orangutan. Oh, that's that's sad. Um, and was trying to steal it out of Indonesia. He, okay, this is sad, but he wanted to do it because he wanted to raise it as a baby. So it's like he wanted to look after it. And in order to get it from Indonesia to Russia, he had to drug it. So it was like, you know, 
out of it and didn't make any sort of, you know, make people aware. Although I don't understand how you can travel with a live animal and not be found out. I'm not sure. And the it looked like it was like in a wicker suitcase. Thing so as wouldn't well. it? I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm. Unless it was a cloth one. Oh, no, even a cloth one, you'd start yeah, running you'd out. Yeah, you suffocate, eventually. It was like, you know, I th- it looked like... um. It looked like air could get into the suitcase. It wasn't like your traditional suitcase that we would have. Did he drill a couple of holes into it or something? Possibly. I don't know. But he... Sounds like a really bad plan. Well, it is a bad plan. Oh, he also had two two live geckos and five lizards as well. But... um, Did he drink them too? (laughs) But he took all the stuff that he was going to need. Like he took baby food. So he gave it allergy pills to make it like sleep for the flight. Um, Baby food? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, food to feed it. I don't know. Oh, I thought he got like baby food. It like could have formula, been baby food. Formula and stuff. I don't know. Oh, they Ooh. might drink milk. I what don't was know. the formula from Australia? <laughs> <laughs> but so he'd been given this. He When he went to Indonesia, a friend apparently bought the orangutan as a pet for him, paid $3,000 for it and gave it to him. Um, and therefore, obviously, he had to take it back if he wanted it. Like to keep it. Um, anyway, he can face that. He could face up to five years in prison and a seven thousand dollar fine. Isn't there a better way to take it back than putting it in your suitcase? Yeah, I'm can't you get like crate? Isn't there people that? Uh, anyways, anyways. Yeah, but if he's gonna put it on a crate, the pe- it's gonna go through like customs. Yeah, and they're gonna be like, "What's in the crate?" And an orangutan. <laughs> declare it. So he's trying to sneak it on board <laughs> with him. It just sounds like a really stupid plan. And you know what's crazy? What? This is not the first time this has happened. To him? So, to him? No, not to him. Just <laughs> random say, people that, that have tried to snug, snuggle. Snuggle. Uh, <laughs> snuggle. Out of, snuggle out of orangutan. So someone tried to smuggle a crocodile on board a flight. What? No, this is a true story. In 2010, from the Democratic Republic of Congo, um, and... The crocodile got loose on the plane, scared everyone, including the pilot, and the plane crashed and killed 20 of the 21 passengers. Did the crocodile survive? Yes. And then... Was he the... the Did he count with one of the passengers? I don't know. But the crocodile (laughs) survived, but then later got shot by people that found the wreckage type thing. Why did they shoot the crocodile? Because they're like, oh my God, there's a crocodile. Let's shoot it. I don't know. So uh, okay, I see that happening. Yeah, that was good at acting. I like the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one guy. <laughs> Do you know what makes me? Not, reminds me of snakes on a plane. The movie. Oh, how bad was that? Like as a movie, it was yeah, pretty it was bad. bad. It was yeah. a bad movie. But it's like, like same concept. Like you know, you're trying to smuggle some animals across, and they get out. Yeah, this one guy tried to smuggle some um, spiders and snakes and reptiles on board as well. I. <laughs> But imagine sitting next to someone and all you see is just like something starts slithering out. Oh my god! Well, what is it in our human psyche that we have to like, like put everything in a like in a cage? That what do we? Why do we always feel like we can like where we can help people or like help things and we're the best solution to the, like? Why do we think that? Yeah, it's a good question. One one post. Okay. And one that a lot of philosophers, sociologists, and that look at. Oh, <laughs> I thought I. Uh, the human that was race thinks they're, they oh, are. That was a. <laughs> it was a question for the ages. <laughs> no, that's good, Dev. You're, you're in good humans, company. That's, that's even more of a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> we think we are. Well, not me personally, but humans in general think they are more superior to the rest of the. Animal world. I wonder what 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 um planet. where was the orangutan before that? I don't know. Oh, it the guy bought it from some a market in Indonesia that someone was selling. In a market, I know, oh. so it's probably taken from its mum. Oh. I know it's really sad. So the illegal part was the illegal part was putting it on the plane, not what? Well, I guess I, my assumption was he stole it from a zoo or something. No, he, he didn't. He was given it by someone who bought it from oh, a market. Okay. I want to see this market, huh. orangutan market. I want to it's see. It's not this. an orangutan market. It's just sort of like come around the corners where these tomatoes are and see what we've got. <laughs> you, you, you got some guy yelling out, "Got one of your orangutans, orangutans, pan the orangutan, yeah, pan the orangutan, two for the price of one orangutan." I, I love Amazon. Look, 
We got tomatoes, bananas, and orangutans. <laughs> See, we got bananas for the orangutans. <laughs> You can buy the ring thing. When I traveled through Hong Kong, they had like watch stalls, and then he was like, Do you want a special watch? I was like, Okay. And then he got out these Rolexes, which oh. look really good, like Rolexes. And they were like, I don't know, 250 pounds. But they didn't ever say, Do you want an yeah. orangutan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been to Mexico and I've seen those cool Rolexes as well. <laughs> those have things you, look have really you actually good. seen them though? Yeah. Have you, I haven't seen them. Like, uh, well, obviously this guy, I don't really believe what he's saying, but I heard this again from some of the travelers as well. It's these Rolexes that they sell are like, um, you, if a lot of specialists can't tell, they're so good the way they make them. They're just like, um, and often they're built like in the same factory, they'll build a Rolex and then they'll build extra and then just take them out and then oh. go, and then they won't get the final stamping and stuff. And then they'll go sell them as like different watches. Oh. Um, no way. So they get like a lot of, uh, and it's similar to, um, trainers they there's people that have like nikes would just make limited edition ones they'll just make more in the factory like and there'll be like an inside thing and then they ship them out like and dispute them throughout china or hong kong yeah or yeah, yeah. there's also when i was there lots of rip-offs of adidas and stuff but they are just all like <laughs> they're yeah, not like yeah. misspelled yeah. and stuff I mean? like that and uh and with some of them they start at ridiculous prices with you like are you cr- are you crazy like they would just have like this <laughs> Shoe which says Ab- Abibas, like the D's <laughs> are replaced with B's for ball. <laughs> so it's Abibas, and you're like, well, it's not Adidas to start. There's too many stripes. <laughs> are you trying to sell me this a uh, hundred US dollars, like straight up? But I'll give I'll give you ten. But I did it sometimes, but right? I'll get involved in haggling with no intention of buying these. Like you couldn't pay me to wear those shoes, but I'll haggle anyway. Like, ten, no one 20, minute, one ten. Inch. 10, 10. And then eventually it gets down to 10. I'm like, uh, I don't want them. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah. And they're going to like push you out the store. Like, stop yeah, wasting yeah. my time. Uh, Give me 10 and I'll tell you. I don't think that's good ethics. <laughs> that's I don't funny. think it's good ethics. All the glasses that are bought from um, from Bali, like they eventually just peel off. Like the... Oh, yeah. What, the Ray-Ban? Uh, yeah, the Ray-Bans. Or the Ray-Bun. I, my ray Bones. Yeah, I've bought stuff like on eBay. I bought one of my kids... Um, what was it? I think it was Adidas as well. Tracksuit. I thought, oh, this is such a good price. Wow, love eBay. It came and he, he'd worn it a few times. And then <laughs> and then I realized, I think, yeah, there was four stripes or two stripes. And then four stripes it was K-Swiss. M- oh, it yeah. wasn't that then. It must have been two or something. Was it, it was Abibes? misspelled. <laughs> and I was like, oh, they got me. <laughs> I was just like, what? No. Okay, everyone, keep listening to the B-Side Word. Rate, review, leave comments, subscribe, like our Instagram page, like our Facebook page, tell your friends, share. Bye.